Sunspot is a nice solution for full text searching and it uses solar in the background. It comes with a lot of great features and let me show you some of them here. Now let's say I have a blogging application which has many articles and I would like to implement some kind of searching uh, for these articles. Now they're very text heavy and if you try to implement some kind of full text searching using SQL, well that can get pretty difficult and usually not the best tool for the job. That's why it's good to use a full text search solution like Sunspot here. Let's give it a try. Now the first thing you'll need to do is go into the gem file of your application and add the sunspot underscore rails gem inside of there. And then run the bundle command to install it. And then you can also generate the YAML configuration file by running the rails g sunspot underscore rails install command uh, to generate that YAML file. And we'll just leave it at the defaults. Now Sunspot actually embeds Solar inside of the gem, so you don't need to install that separately as an external dependency. It just uh, works out of the box, which makes it really convenient in development. This means to get everything um, up and running, all you have to do is just call rake Sunspot Solar Start, just like that. Now when you do this, you may see this warning at the top here, but for the most part, you can just ignore it and notice that it also generated a few more configuration files for some advanced configuration. I won't get into that here, but you can check out the documentation for details. Next, go into any model you want to search on, such as our article model here, and then call the searchable class method in here when pass it a block. Now inside of this block, you're just defining which attributes you want to search by so that it knows what to index. Uh, you can use the text method to define full text searchable attributes. So we can say we want the name of the article to be searchable and the content. Now let's leave it like this for now just to get something up and running quickly. Now Sunspot will automatically index any new records that you create. However, if you have some existing records already in the database, you'll need to re-index those. And you can do that by calling rake sunspot reindex to uh, include those and make them searchable. All right, so now all these articles are in our Solar database to be searched. All we have to do is just add a search field at the top here. Now this is a pretty standard form, so I'm just going to paste in some code at the top of our index template here. To do a form tag, go into our articles path, so it'll go to the index action, and just pass in a search parameter containing any keywords that the user types into the field. And then inside of our articles controller, we need to change our index action here so that it fetches the articles using that search parameter instead of all the articles. Now the way you perform a search in Sunspot, what you do is you first set a search variable and you call article.search on this and pass in a block. And then in here you can call various methods to handle complex searches such as full text and pass it your search parameter and that will handle a full text search using whatever the user typed in the search parameter. And then you can call search.results to get a, an array of all the articles that were found. And then we could try this out by reloading our page here. And there we have our search field. And let's type in a keyword. And it works. It now filtered to all the articles which contain that word, whether it be in the name of the article or the content. Pretty awesome. Now there's a lot more we can do inside the searchable block in our model. For example, one thing I like to do is use the boost option. So if I separate these out here, I can add an option to our name called boost. And let's provide a value here such as five. And this will mean that any keywords found in the name of the article will be five times more important than the keywords inside the content. So this is important when we're sorting by relevance so that it can sort the uh, keywords found in the title higher up in the order list. Now the attributes used here don't need to be actual columns inside of the database. We can use any method we want on our object. So for example, let's say we have a method here called publish month, and then that'll take our pu published at, let's call string of time on it, and then pass in our month name with our year. And then I can use this in our full text searching just like that. And then after re-indexing the records, performing a search on the month name uh, just works like that. Now instead of creating a method, you can also pass in a block and whatever's returned by that block will be searchable as well. So for example here, notice the article has many comments and let's say we want the comment content to be searchable. 
we could just say something like uh, text comments and then pass in a block here and the context of inside this block is the context of an article instance. So we can say the comments of that article and map them to the content of each comment. And even though this returns an array, Sunspot just handles it fine. It'll just uh, index all the content for the comments and make it searchable. Now, what if you want to add some search capabilities that's beyond a simple full text searching, maybe search on a specific attribute? Well, for that, you just pass in the type of attribute you want, whether it be a string, integer, a float, or maybe a time. So in this case, let's use a time and say published at, and that will make the published at attribute uh, searchable through different ways inside of our uh, search method. So for example, back in our articles controller, I can customize this search call here and include a with option. And we can say with published at is less than the current time zone, so time zone dot now. This way won't show us articles which have not yet been published. Now there's some great documentation on all the attributes you can pass in here at the Sunspot Wiki page. So if you just check this out, you can see a list of all the various options you can use and a lot of nice examples here on how to use them. Now another thing we could add here is faceted searching. Now this is pretty cool because it allows us to filter the search results based on certain attributes uh, such as the month that the article was published. So let's say we want a list of months here for all the articles being listed uh, which allow us to filter out um, only articles which are on a certain publication month. So what we could do here is inside of our searchable block we can add a string attribute for our published month uh, attribute here which will allow us to filter by it. And then we can turn this into a facet by going into our articles controller search block and just calling facet and passing in that name published month. And then we just have to list these facets inside of our index template. So I'm just going to paste in some code here to uh, help speed things along. Basically what we have here is a facets div and inside of here I want to loop through all the published month facet items and then display them. So I have, if we call facet on our search object that Sunspot returned earlier, pass in our attribute you want to list facets by which is a published month and then call rows on this. It'll return every facet option for that attribute. And if we uh, call row.value, it's going to return the actual value for that attribute, such as uh, January 2011, or whatever the published month that returns. And then we can also call row count to return how many uh, found articles match that given value. And you can see here, if uh, there is no month, if I'm not passing any month parameter, then I want to link to that given facet value and pass that month parameter in. If there is a month parameter in that I'm passing through, I just want to display the month value and then have a little remove link which clears out that month parameter. So this will give us some nice functionality for selecting a given facet and passing it in through that month parameter here. Now you can see if I hit reload here, I have this nice list of facets on the side. And I've already stylized this off camera, but the import, important thing is that it works. You can see I have uh, an entry for each month that I have an article in, and it says I have one article under each of those values. And if I click on this, it's going to pass in that given value in the month attribute here in the URL. But it's not yet working right because it's not filtering our articles by that specific given publish month. So to get this to work right, I just have to go into our articles controller again, check out the search block, and in here add another with call saying publish month, and have it equal the given month that's passed in if the given month parameter is present. That way it'll filter out uh, based on the selected facet. So now when I go to select a facet, it's going to filter those to articles to the ones that match that given selected facet. And I have this remove link here, which I can click to clear out that uh, facet selection. And this works in conjunction with uh, search results too. So if I type in a search here, it's going to only show the facets which match that given search, and the numbers are going to update properly.
and that's how you can do facets. It's a really nice feature to have alongside your search. Well, that's it for this episode on Sunspot, a great way to do full text searching. Uh, be sure to check out the wiki though, because there's a lot of features that I did not cover here, and they're nicely documented there. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it.